Mustafa Abdel Karim is putting labels on yogurt containers. Three years ago, he was running for his life. His village in Sudan was burning. And they killed my father. And two of my siblings. He's one of 600 refugees working for Hamdi Yulukaya. So my background is the reason that I knew about the refugees and I knew how important it is to accept it with the new community. It's only possible if you get a job. Yulakaya started Greek yogurt company Chobani in 2007. A year later, he began hiring refugees to work at his upstate New York plant. Why did you feel a connection to refugees? Because you didn't have that kind of story. I left Turkey because I was Kurdish and I was very serious about Kurdish rights. Um, a lot of Kurds in Turkey fled the country. The villages were bombed. Persecution, oppression, fear. These are the common themes in the stories that many of his workers tell. But these refugees are the ones that hit the lottery. The UN resettles less than 1% of those seeking refuge. The odds are against the millions currently fleeing violence and death in the Middle East. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know. I should have known. Even though I was hiring refugees here for four or five years, I didn't know how bad this is. Yulakaya says the system for processing and resettling refugees is in dire need of change. And that undertaking will require corporate America to step up. You're asking the business leaders I do. to contribute. Yeah. Why should they? Because we are effective. The way that you said it suggests that government is not effective. No. I mean, it's broken, right? It's broken. It's broken. UN is broken. The government is broken. This issue shouldn't have come to this point. It could have been stopped a long time ago. Big names, from Google to Goldman Sachs, have already pledged support. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees has raised 17 million in donations. But Yulakaya says business leaders can do more than just write checks. Let's face it, the way that we're dealing with the, UN, with the refugee crisis today is the same way that we did in 1940s and 50s. Nothing has changed. Imagine the refugees has a cell phone, it has a Facebook, there's a group, and they're telling them which roads to follow. So they, they, <laughs> the way that they're dealing with this is different than the conditions are in the ground. And while he's promised to eventually give away about half of his $1.4 billion fortune to support the cause, right now he's donated $2 million for immediate relief. He hopes it'll make it easier for people like Abdel Karim to start a new life. Within this short time of working here, I was able to buy my own house, and I'm happy and I'm also helping my kids. There's enough wealth, there's enough knowledge, there's enough mobility, there's enough technology, there's enough willingness, there's enough of everything. You just have to ask faster.